Welcome to WRC 19 here on the last day of the World Radio Communication Conference in Sharm el-Sheikh, Egypt, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Dr. Amar Badawi, who is the chairman of WRC 19 and has been here for the last uh, four weeks, diligently uh, ensuring that a uh, spirit of consensus is reached here by all the delegates and that uh, many resolutions are passed. Uh, Dr. Badawi, welcome to the studio. Thank you, Max. Now, it's been uh, a few months since we last met in Geneva, and uh, a lot of uh, conversations have passed since then. A lot of resolutions have been made now here at uh, the WRC 19. I wanted to ask you, what have been uh, your impressions? Has this lived up to your expectations? And, uh, uh, and what have been your major challenges throughout this time? Well, I would say I'm quite happy with the outcome of the WRC 19. Things have moved sometimes with some bumps, but I believe at the end that uh, the major issues were resolved. We have uh, some very good results that uh, are making everybody leave Charm Sheikh happy with what they got, and that was my main goal. And my job actually uh, dictates that. And for me at least, I did not have to spend any nights here, which was nice. I was going to say, you're looking very refreshed for a conference that has lasted for many, many weeks here. What are some of the major outcomes which you think will be key for the future of radio communications? I think we've got several outcomes for IMT, which is International Mobile Telecommunications, which serves what people usually know as 5G, which is the commercial or common name, which is extremely important for the next phase of uh, communications and telecommunications. 5G will make a big move in this sector. We are going to have new applications. We have Internet of Things will expand. We have artificial intelligence used with uh, 5G will really uh, bring amazing products, amazing applications, like for example, autonomous cars autonomous vehicles. I mean, without 5G and uh, artificial intelligence, you won't have that product. And then you have intelligent cities without the Internet of Things and uh, 5G serving Internet of Things because it, the technology will help us use the available spectrum in a more efficient way. This is the key. And that's what WRC is all about. We need to make sure that this uh, limited amount of resource that we have named the spectrum which in my opinion is the fuel of this industry needs to be uh, used in the most efficient way so this conference has been working towards that there were so many agenda items and uh, i may have mentioned in the, in the previous uh, interview that i feel that we had a, an opportunity this time uh, new, newer technologies have availed a lot of spectrum bands to both uh, satellite and fixed earth te telecommunications. Uh, whether it be fixed or mobile, satellite have new, uh, amazing uh, technologies now that will allow the satellites uh, to serve uh, rural areas at very high speeds which could bring broadband to everywhere where uh, regular fiber networks cannot go there. And what I liked in this conference is that for the first time I see that uh, the satellite operators or vendors and, uh, and the uh, mobile operators are starting to see that they complement each other rather than compete with each other. This spirit is very important because this will help both grow and at the end of the day we're looking to provide the consumer the best possible service at the least possible cost. Having this could give us that chance and everywhere. We're trying to reach to the last uh, billion or two who cannot have any broadband or smartphones. We're trying to reach that. This technology is changing how the world thinks, how the world uh, is, uh, you know, uh, handles education, uh, medicine. We will have wonders with 5G, with 5G, with the enormous 
capabilities there. Did you find this harmonious collaboration from the beginning of the conference? Or has it been an evolution as people have been conversing here, as they've been negotiating here? I think they have recognized it even before coming to the conference. I even heard it from one of the major players there. And to me, this was music to my ears because this means that they will accommodate each other rather than try to kill each other. I know that uh, everything is now water under the bridge, but were there any major challenges, uh, that were any major sticking points that uh, were we, difficult? We've had like seven issues that were not so resolved until Wednesday. I think six issues were really resolved. The other one was, was a no change. To me, no change is that just we're pushing the ball to the next uh, WRC. Okay, thank you. Well, I, I was just about to come on to that. So looking forward, with, uh, there are a number of issues that are, are going through for 2023 now. But uh, I mean, I think I, I presume that's always the case, that, the, that things are carried over for yeah. another four yeah, years. But the most important issues were resolved here. And that, that's a very good result. What difference do you think it's made to the region itself uh, to have this enormous conference here? Well, I think uh, it showed that a country like Egypt can really uh, organize and uh, host such a very important and very complex com conference. I did not realize the complexity of this con conference until I was really the chairman and kind of looking at every place to every committee. Mm -hmm. how, I mean, the mechanism, I was just telling now I was uh, with the RCC group and I said, look, you know, it's like, you know, the, the, the conference is, uh, is like a a big machine with gears. I mean, each gear is, you know, you know, turning the, the, the following one, and it's amazing. Because at the end of the day, you get a product, and it's amazing. I mean, we've had, like, some documents just given to the uh, documentation committee by midnight on, on Wednesday, and they're here in the final act now. I mean, this is, to me, this is amazing in six languages. You have uh, been amazing, I think. Everybody yeah. will agree. As, as chair of this extremely important conference, thank you so much for joining us in the studio. And I'm sure we will catch up with you again at some stage in the near future. OK, thank you very much, Max. Thank, thank you thank very you. much indeed. Thank you.